Hey, what's up YouTube? I've got a couple extra minutes and I just wanted to go ahead and share a little bit of information with you guys on the JBL headphones application. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm opening it right now. And so whenever you first pair your headphones, you're gonna get a prompt similar to this. I believe the screen goes all white and it asks you to pair a set of uh, earbuds or headphones, whatever you have. Uh, in this case, we have the JBL Vibe Buds right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So some of the features that I did not get to play with in my initial review of this are the ambient aware and the talk through functions. So when I was using these at the college campus, they were kind of what I expected in reference to the functionality of it. Um, it does prompt you with a question here. It asks if you uh, really want to turn on the function or not. I don't know why they put that there. I feel like it's kind of a bit clunky. But um, on top of that, I just kind of want to go through a couple of the other things that are in here. So you've already got a couple of pre-built sound profiles in here. You're going to have jazz, vocal, bass, extreme bass. I think that's it. I think they're only hooking you up with about four presets. So you're going to be able to find that under this tab of the section where this graph bar is. So I was under the impression that you could change these in the application. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Now, I'm sure there may be a little bit of research that I have to do on my end to figure that out. But kind of from what I'm seeing right now, I don't see anything that jumps out at me immediately whenever I go into the uh, separate earbud functions on here. But the nice thing is it does break everything down in reference to what each key does. And so that makes it a little bit easier. And I've pretty much figured out most of it. Um, I think the calls is where I get a little hung up on these bad boys. Next, you've got a voice aware soundbar function that you can set the amount of, I guess, voice aware that's in there. Um, I think I want to play around with this feature a little bit more because when I was using it, I didn't think it was that great just out of the box. I feel like with a little bit of fine tuning that the voice aware system may actually act a little bit better than the experiences that I've been getting with it. So uh, I'm hoping I get to try those out in some upcoming scenarios. So we'll see how that goes. So another thing that I haven't really played with too much in reference to the application is this audio video mode. Uh, that's definitely something I want to check out and see what it is. I'm assuming that's just a pre-built profile. Um, there is an info button, however, here we go. Audio mode, giving you the best audio quality. Video mode, improving lip sync performance. Interesting, okay, good to know. Um, it does have a option here to turn on and off your voice prompts. Uh, I have not messed with the voice prompts yet. I think that's a, another thing that I really need to dive deep into because at surface level, it's like really simple for the voice prompting, but every single headphone company has something that a little different for what they're doing. So like, for example, my, I believe it's Plantronics and they might've been Jabra way back in the day, but don't quote me on it, but um, they have different voice functions for their applications as well. There's a max volume limiter. You've got power saving and last but not least, you've got a find my buds function in here. Um, let's see, tap the following earbuds to start high pitch. Oh, okay. Protect your hearing, please ensure that your earbuds are not worn. Okay, so it gives you a little warning here telling you to take out your earbuds, continue. That is actually really cool. I'm impressed. I am impressed, okay. So you can do it for the left bud and the right bud. So if you just drop one and it's in the middle of some sort of really high textured background and you can't see what the heck you're looking for, um, that is a really cool function and it's incredibly loud. Let me also say that um, the buds are probably two and a half feet away from me right now. And that is super, super loud. All right, so that's pretty much the down and dirty functionality test of the JBL Vibe Buds with their application that they've created. I think this is actually really thoughtful. I've played with a couple of other applications that come with uh, small accessory devices, and I feel like they just get too cluttered, they get too off into the weeds, and they're trying to solve way too many problems. I like what JBL has done here. They've taken like the top 10 uh, functionality things that you're gonna need to use with these earbuds, and they've said, hey, here it is in this one application. It's very simple, it's very cut and dry, and the best part of all, it's practical. I think the find my buds function, uh, you know, assuming it's not GPS location, yeah, whatever, that's for a whole nother uh, weight class of earphones and headphones. I think the sound option, I mean, that is so incredibly like brilliant in my opinion. I don't know why it took us so long to figure out something like that, but I absolutely love it. 
Anyways, without further ado, I've got some new product reviews that are going to be coming to you guys. Uh, just give me a couple more days because I'm waiting on Amazon to drop off some packages. Anyways, that's all I've got. I'll catch you guys later on the next one.